All right, let's start. OK, excellent. Good morning. Thank you very much for everybody who's joined us today and welcome. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, delivering innovative local energy projects. And we've got some exciting uh, and interesting uh, presentations for you today that uh, hopefully are going to inspire and uh, introduce you to the world of smart local energy systems. Just, just a few housekeeping rules. Um, we are recording the session, so please turn your cameras off. Please mute your microphones. Please, however, use the chat. Please, work, you're very welcome to raise questions. The speakers on the call today will be looking to respond to those, but also we've got a Q&A session where we'll also be picking that up and looking to draw some of those questions in. Um, and next slide, please. So that was the welcome. Yeah, OK, so just a bit, little bit about the catapult. If you don't know about us, um, this particular um, session um, has come from uh, some funding and some uh, innovation across the UK based upon the uh, Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund, which funded the Prospering from the Energy Revolution uh, uh, programme. And that was £102.5 million investment into smart local energy systems across the UK. It's been running now for nearly five years. It finishes at the end of March this year, and we wanted to bring you together to share some uh, insight and some knowledge around those projects and what they mean to uh, local local councils, local authorities <laughs> and their communities. So that's the purpose, one of the purposes to, to, of today. The part of the catapult that I work in um, is called the Energy Revolution Integration Service, and that was funded from the PIFA programme, which also funded the Net Zero Go platform. Next slide, please. So the Net Zero Go platform coined a phrase from Patrick Alcorn at Bayes is talking about the one stop shop for local authorities and their local energy projects. I'll cover a little bit more on this a little bit later, um, but I just wanted to uh, add a poll in very early into the session just to get a view from the group uh, that are with us today. Um, if Laura could add that up, just wanted to get your views on your knowledge and understanding of what, a, a, if you know about smart local energy systems. Do that, Laura. Here we go. So if you should be able to see that, if you're a local authority, um, uh, please answer yes or no. And then go on to the next poll. And have you heard of SLES? Have you heard of smart local energy systems? Yes, I know what it means. Yes, I don't know what it means or no. Somebody's put theirs in the chat. Let me just do mine. Sorry, I haven't filled mine in. And submit. OK, just wanted to get a view on that. And if you uh, complete that, you should therefore then start to see the responses. And we will. Um, that's really useful to see uh, the audience that we've got with us today. OK, quite a high number, um, a split number. OK, next slide, please. So today's the purpose of today's uh, session um, is to demonstrate the impact that uh, PIFA, or the Prospering for the Energy Revolution program, has had on UK local authorities. And, the, and the, the organisations that are involved in those projects, the local authorities involved in those projects, will be sharing their views and their insights and input into um, how they've focused on community benefits, how they've leveraged investment, and how they've engaged with their commercial partners and taken projects forward from the PIFA funding. We're also here to inform uh, UK councils about um, Energy Smart Places, Places event that's coming up. We've also got uh, an Innovate UK also launching their Zero Living programme, which we'll talk about. We've got some uh, further research work that's going on at Energy Rev, which we'd like to share with you. And we've also done some work within Net Zero Go and the Catapult that we'd also like to share. So that's uh, the purpose of today. Next, next slide. So the agenda, we've got a very packed agenda, so I've uh, been very strict with the presenters this morning, asking them to make sure that they keep to time. But we're going to start um, with a, a keynote from Jody, who's the uh, PIFA uh, innovation lead um, within Innovate UK. Then I'll come back and just show you a little bit about what Netzero Go is doing in this area and how, we, how this is looking to help. Then we've got three case studies from the PIFA projects. Kate Ashworth, Ashworth from Energy Capital, West Midlands Combined Authority. We'll be talking about three of the projects. Um, we've got Tina Mould from Oxford City Council talking about the ESO project, and we've got Elliot and Phil doing a double act on the Piri project in Peterborough. Then we'll go into a Q&A session. So as I mentioned, please add your comments and uh, questions in the chat. Next slide, please. 
Then we're going to look at some of the work that Kewell's doing at Energy Rev from the University of Strathclyde. Rebecca will share some uh, insights into some recent reports that the Catapult have just published on uh, YSLES. And then we've got Cara talking about the uh, Net Zero Living programme. And then Jody will come back in at the end and, and give us some final comments and final remarks. Next slide, please. So I'd like to hand over to Jody, who's going to give you a, give us our keynote. Uh, Jody and I have been working quite closely together for the last two years, and uh, Jody's been really involved in in driving this work forward and and helping us uh, understand the opportunities, benefits of smart local energy systems. 